Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man version of uh, Better One of the Mod. You might wonder, Saiken, why are we playing, uh, replaying the video of the last Network Tower mission? Uh -uh, my friends, we're not doing that. It is another Network Tower. Yes, indeed. South Africa, Network Tower number two. Back to back missions. Two in a row. So. We're trying to uh, hit the aliens multiple times and hit them hard. Today's mission uh, will be uh, with a very uh, different but yet uh, pretty good team. We got Renman and Roby, the Bash brothers, who um, are going to be the front line on this uh, nice mission. We got Quickfeet, our uh, specialist who's going to help us. We got uh, Taxman, who's going to be our sniper. And last but certainly not least, Ragtime, who is going to be our Irish, or Scottish, sorry, uh, 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 technician. And uh, since we had been so successful the last time, the expectations uh, to do this mission flawlessly are quite high. We can see the first pack right around the corner here. No need to ask twice. Hostiles making the rounds. Renvin and Roby both are moving in. Quickfeet definitely needs a training as um, as a commander. He could most certainly use his skills here. And Taxman is going into a cover position as well. All right. There's the next pack. We've got a hostile squad here. We got two packs right next to one another. And it seems uh, that this year is going to be a pretty bloody start. Time for a fresh cup of tea. <sighs> Much better. So they are standing close, but not too close. <laughs> we could take the high ground, but that would be incredibly risky. What's our chance of hacking? Unfortunately, not good enough. Elsewise, I would definitely do that. Do we have a blade storm? No, we don't have a melee character. Okay. Well, hmm. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to use area suppression against concealed units. <laughs> yeah, they already uh, thought about that, but that would have been great because I could, uh, we could have kind of AOE pulled them. I'm asking myself if we really want to fight against two packs. That's my, my only concern here. I mean, we can easily get rid of uh, the max. That's not a problem. Let's do one more turn of Overwatch. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Just moving it into a bit better position. Now. 
And if they run into us, so that's fine. If not, we're going to engage on them next turn. We're fighting, I think, against 15 enemies again. So that's five packs. Yeah, and they're slowly moving out of line of sight. Again, unless we want to fight against six people or oh, shortly Overwatch. Overwatch, we're steadying the weapon with our sniper. And that should let one of the enemy uh, packs move outside of vision range. I'm not sure if that is already outside of vision range. But we could easily kind of reposition and just take the middle pack alone. Yeah, we do have medium ranged weapons, so that shouldn't be a problem. All right, no one here. No one here can see the other pack, which means we can easily start this here. Roby's not the best when it comes to hitting enemies. Oh, but this time he's doing a great job. Well, uh, an okay job. Let's kill the mech first. That's a critical hit. In close. We're going to run and gun into um, a flanking position. Oh, we got a shotgun. Well, still got a potential 98% chance to stun the enemy. Okay, we got to be careful how we're moving. We don't want to pull that pack over here. This should be a kill. Not even a grazing shot. Oh, too bad.
Yeah, I'm not sure this here might trigger the other pack. We don't want that to happen. Ren and get the protocol. And unfortunately, we can only stun this guy. Yeah, our long range is so and so. Could have been better. Just trigger the other pack. <sighs> and they can immediately act. Which seems to be the norm nowadays. was a bit stupid back and forth but whatever Okay, I think we're going to go back for f uh, to full cover. Good, we're flanking and we theoretically could back up the mech. Let's kill the mech first. Good, that drops uh, the suppression as well. And maybe we can crit the Rocketeer. Very nice damage, unfortunately not a crit. Almost down though. Moving over. Wow, although we were flanking that guy, we're unfortunately only grazing shot, uh, shotting him. That is disappointing. We're taking solid positions. The only soldier that we can't really activate so far is uh, Renvin. I'm thinking could move over with a flashbang grenade. 
simply move closer and take a shot. Move over here and see if we can take shots. Well, that's not too bad for rapid fire. Yeah, that's an untouchable and placeable. I don't want to go further, although it would, would be the right move to actually go to here. But there is a chance that we're pulling another pack and I want to be careful. We already pulled two packs. Don't want a third one. Could move back. Could actually move here. Don't do it, Saiken. It's not worth it. There's the untouchable, which is great. That is into full cover. I, why? Okay, time to be a bit more aggressive. We're grappling up here. That'll trigger death from above. Got him. And that's taking care enemy of the last enemy. Good. So far, so good. Closing on target position now. Carefully moving up. By the way, perfect option get me out of here. to make sure we could get out of here. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Moving up. I guess that'll be okay. So we're not pulling anyone, but I promise you, would I have moved there last turn? I guess that'll be okay. We definitely would have pulled something. We don't have enough cover, and I don't want to go all the way over here. What we can do is, we can position ourselves over here, because that's out of line of sight and we're not triggering anything with just going there. This wall here is in the way. And it is, uh, it is blocking essentially the entire side. One advantage of kind of moving in that uh, line formation is we are essentially in a spot where we could relatively easily begin to um, to flank enemies. So this should trigger the sector pack. Apparently it doesn't. Okay, we're moving into position, fair enough.
I would like to get the loot here. The Meg Arca, uh, Archer could be carrying up to superior items. See? Elite Scope was well, definitely worth it. Very nice. By the way, let's reload. Overwatching. So if the sectors are kind of moving into our direction, we should be able to take overwatch shots on uh, on them. Nothing happened. All right, time to rock on. We know there's a pack right there. So time for us to take a small peek over here. I'm on the move. And look at that. Of course, the sector it's are scattering from left to right. So let's hope we're not triggering another pack here. We are not, that's good. Fortifying our position and let's flank the sector. Nice little damage. Unfortunately, these guys have 11 hit points. Good, two out of them are probably dead at the end of this uh, round. Roby moves up here. Okay, I'll go. Again, we're very careful not pulling anything. Let's position ourselves over here. Unfortunately, not the type of loot that I wanted. And that's a 50-50 with a small gun. Or alternatively, we're going to drop down and force the sector to come into our direction. That way, his preferred method, the mind spin, cannot simply be done. Sometimes it's worthwhile thinking about playing with tempo and letting the enemies push into you. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. All right, quick feed moves over. We are not spotting anyone. We're green to go. Hmm. So not 100% sure where that last sector is hiding. 
Maybe it had run back to uh, another pack. Which isn't unheard of. Once they are afraid, they usually do that. Moving just a bit further. Reinforcements are going to come in soon. So we're overwatching for potential reinforcements. And that's it. Double stun lancer plus a normal trooper. Two elite lancers and one normal trooper. Alright, that's one down. We we'll probably need to continue making our way towards the hack target. In the meantime, let's deal with this guy here. <laughs> 17 crit. Once Renvin is close up, he's a machine. I absolutely like it. <laughs> so is Tex, man. Lovely. Keep steadying that weapon, buddy. Good. Reinforcements are being taken care of. Now, off to an aggressive push forward. Still trying to get into the um, into the center. There's the sectoid. Might as well be a kill. Well, unfortunately not fully killing it, but at least heavily injured. Moving up to grab the loot. Third loot of uh, this map, by the way. Another Lyrium core, that's good. That's a harsh pack. I've got eyes on advent troops. Whoa! Yep, that is a pretty, uh, pretty brutal pack that we're fighting against. Good time to pull out the bigger the bigger guns such as our rocket launcher that may or may not kill the sector. It at least blew a massive w uh, hole into the wall. Whew. 
100%. I'm still fine with that. That's most likely going to be a kill. Wow, 19. That's good. We're going to invest in teamwork. Because we need all of the firepower that we're now uh, that we can now get, and hopefully he can finish the sector. Good, that's two down. Not sure if we're even seeing someone up here. This here would definitely be overseeing all of them. And would be full cover. Well, we can't kill someone with 11 hit points. That's just not going to work out. Might as well go into full cover high ground. Fortification. I'm coming for you. Run and gun. And let's move up. Solid copy. This is hopefully close enough to the um, to the Archon here. Uh, weapon range minus sixteen. Moving into full cover just like everyone else. Our technician has eight protocol running, and we're just suppression on this guy. Okay, two low percent shots. That's a miss. And a miss. We're fine. We can go closer next turn. Quick feed overwatches. That's a missed grab. That's the first entry during the entire mission. Damn it. Soon further reinforcements will hit.
can't reach anyone with a sniper, so we're just going to move up. Most dangerous foe by large and far is the Archon. So we're taking high ground, very close to it. Moving everyone up. I think we have the extended fire, um, the extended flamethrower range. So how would that look? Like? Ooh. Thanks to the awesome positioning, we definitely always know whether or not the the Archon is inside of the flamethrower. I think he's barely outside of it. But I absolutely like the range, so that's what we're going to do. Time for the Archon to die. Seventy percent shots, some of which unfortunately miss. We're going to go in with a further teamwork. Free reloading and continue the rapid fire assault. Keep it going, I want the Archon down. By the way, these are 70% shots, so it's not completely unlikely that four of them are actually hitting the Archon. That's the overarching bullshit with Archons. High dodge rating plus high defense rating. Uh, the long war design has made them even worse than they had been before. You know, I have no problem generally with enemy design, but essentially making something more difficult because it becomes more random, and that's really what um, what defense is all about. It just makes it more random so that you have a lower chance to actually miss them. There's no counterplay to defense. Um, you you can get closer to them, yes, but at the end of the day I was standing almost completely next to him in high ground and, <laughs> and used four shots with an almost maximized uh, unit and it's still wasn't enough. Yeah, I don't want to get into a rant about uh, the Archons, but I stand pretty firm in my belief that their general design is shit. They are not like tanks that you can sort of ignore and deal with later. They have a lot of hit points, high defenses, are generally dangerous because uh, they hit, I would say, between hard and very hard. Which makes them prime targets if they wouldn't be 
unearthly tanky at the same time. Shouldn't waste my ammunition, probably, because the Viper is already burning. Instead, let's go for him. This might be a kill. Roby reloads and overwatches. The Viper itself is already burning, so there isn't much happening. We almost flawless the mission all of this shit here happened. Got some admin here. Check it before you get too close. Good, that's one down. That Viper is burning. Oh, we can't, uh, Renman can't reach the enemy. Um, can't reach the target in one turn. Grappling ourselves upstairs. Let's kill the mech. Could reload if we wanted to. Time to kill everyone first, and then we're going to end the mission. down 50 50 to kill a normal trooper all right even a grazing shot will deal with it and this here should be a nice flanking shot Reload, Overwatch. Good. We're getting our specialist in position so that we can get the hack reward. I think we should be fine overall. No reinforcements are coming in. Quick feet can easily sprint over and we'll be probably finishing the whole mission in a turn or two. 
This group here did pretty pretty well. For whatever reason, Quick Feet always gets injured on those missions. The broader flamethrower looked like something that is going to be useful, just makes the mid-range much better. Reinforcements soon are going to come in. Which tells us we want to go exactly here. By the way, we know that there is no alien uh, left, because there wasn't an alien movement. That's why I feel very good just taking my turns here without even waiting for them. All right, heck the workstation, get a little bit of a reward and call it a day. Two back-to-back, -back, pretty satisfying. Oh, let's take the 50-50 chance for a big set of intel. Oh, hello. This is going to be a very, very nice mission, so I think we're going to have a, an awesome set of loot. Status confirmed. We have control of the network tower. The signal is going out. That was a good mission. Good, there we go. No promotions, but also no one was permanently injured. Even Quick Feet, who took just mild damage, was absolutely fine. Good job, guys. Good job. And look at that. 25 intel, an elite scope, two cores, which is 40 uh, supplies. Yeah, the Psy Offense isn't really necessary now. I like the scope. Great. So, I know that you guys might have been disappointed uh, for by two network towers back to back. Uh, I'm personally not, but I could imagine just from a variety standpoint, it's not as interesting. So we're having essentially seven days yeah, we could go without dark tower noxus no we have a few people being tired but then again who gives a crap about being tired for now hmm let's wait until zirkim is back and then we're going to go and start assaulting the HQs. And we're not only going to assault uh, one, we're going to assault both of the HQs on parallel. There is the second facility, lovely. If we could free the entirety of Africa, that would be liberating in the truest sense of the meaning. Pun very much intended. We would have the entirety of Africa all of a sudden for us. That's like the continent. Three different areas which would generate supplies. We would be swimming in money. We'd be printing the green dollar bills. Pew, pew and uh, would finally be able to buy everything that we want. Training. Who's going to be the next officer? Let's train this shinobi here. 
I mean, we have so many officers that we essentially need to train. Might as well start somewhere. I still need the A-team uh, to perform a mission, so that's why I can't let Zoe train now. Oh, something happened and unfortunately I clicked away. Because I wanted to see if Zircam is already alright. Ah, still 22 hours. Yeah, well, we got to do this mission now, apparently. <laughs> so it's going to be a smash and grab mission, which means today's episode is ending a bit earlier. Once the smash and grab is over, I'm hoping that we can start the actual infiltration process, uh, which will be fun. I'm already looking forward for that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciated it. And... If you enjoyed it and uh, get some value out of the content, consider leaving a like or a thumbs up or a comment down below. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.